Welcome back to RBD Block Challenge. I'm Cindy Cloward, and today we're working on block number eight. It is called Splice, and it's designed by Christy Lee. This is what it looks like in batiks, and this is what it looks like in our Riley Blake Designs Confetti Cotton Solids. Both beautiful and fun to work with. The first thing you're gonna need to do is download the pattern from our Riley Blake Designs website. Again, it's called Splice, designed by Christy Lee. And I've already got all my pieces cut out from the pattern and we're ready to get started on this block. I'm gonna grab my glasses. And the first thing the pattern tells you to do is grab your A and your E square but you're also gonna need to, and we're gonna make two half square triangles, but you're also gonna need to grab your F and your A square, so we're gonna do it both at the same time and chain piece. If you don't have a seam so easy guide on your machine, you're gonna need to mark corner to corner just with a marking tool, and that is going to, I'm gonna just do one real fast. We've been doing it this whole time, but just in case you wanna see it again, mark corner to corner, and that is gonna be your guide. You're gonna sew a fourth inch on each side. Put your squares together, right sides together. If you're working with a printed fabric, and let's sew our half square triangles. We've had a lot of half square triangles this go around. This sew along, they're always so fun and easy to make. Okay, let's flip it to the other side. Right, let's clip our threads. Cut down the middle. And then we're gonna take it to our pressing station. Let's open this. Open up our half square triangles. Let them cool underneath our clappers, our clapper. And we need to trim those down to three inches. Since I don't have a trim it ruler that's exactly three inches, I'm gonna just use this square ruler. And then I just put it in the corner of three inches. It's almost exactly three inches. There's not much to trim at all. I just need to do those dog ears, but I just want to make sure it's accurate. And this one I need to do a little more trimming. Okay, those are good to go. The next thing we're going to do is make our kind of reverse flying geese unit. These little pointed things. Now remember, um, the pattern tells you to make two one way and then two the mirror, mirror opposites. So we're gonna make two on that way. So if you only wanna make two at a time, you can do that. Okay, I'm gonna sew these corner to corner. Again, if it's helpful to mark it, to keep your brain organized which way you're going, then mark them. Trim those down. Oh, where is, oh, there it is over here. Can't miss this cherry red. 
alpha cutter, can you? I love red. It's one of my favorite colors. Along with pink and all the other colors, right? <laughs> I love colors. Okay, let's press those open. Okay, so those are going that direction. I'm gonna finish up these two. Again, my brain doesn't work sometimes to do them all at once. So whatever works for you. I'm gonna put that there, that there, and I'm gonna sew corner to corner. Trim those down. That was a fat seam, but that's all right. Okay, open it up. Those two are ready to go. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is one's opposite direction. So I put those up there to keep, keep me honest. Let's see. Looking good. So we've got those opposites. And then we just need to do this green four patch in the center. And they're just opposite. Let's see. There's one slightly darker, which is up in the corner. You can do it however you would like. So we'll just do our quick four patch. Make sure they're opposite. Let's finger press. Finger press. Nest our seams. Get our little birds to nest our seams. Never gets old, does it? <laughs> okay, looks good. Let's give it a a little press. Oops. Okay, we've got our four patch. Now we're ready to lay out our quilt block. And I made myself a note and I forgot to share it with you. Um, press your half square triangles to the white side. So I'm gonna do that right now because I didn't do that before. And it's going to make a difference when you um, lay, assemble your block. So I made a mental note, but I didn't write it down. <laughs> so I forgot it until now. Okay, so we're pressing to the white side, which is normally opposite of what you do. Usually you press to the dark side. But these aren't very dark. Okay. So now that those are pressed to the white side, I'm gonna lay this out. And the corners, the color flips in, opposite corners, like that. And then we've got these red blocks. I, well, I'm, I know I'm just seeing the red. So the red goes up here, and then the red goes right there. Red goes there and there. So it goes red and pinks. So make sure you have it laid out right. If you get them on the wrong place, it's okay. No one's gonna notice probably but you, but if you wanna follow the pattern, pay attention to the pattern. Okay, so now that we were ready to assemble our block, we're gonna flip the outside towards the center. Now this is why when you press to the white side, you're gonna be grateful because look how those seams nest. See like that? And then you can just click them into place, nest those seams 
with our little Riley Blake bird pins. Okay, so let's take it over to our machine, our design boards. I do like sewing um, on this side, so I make sure I don't sew into my points. That's kind of a nice bonus of sewing on that side of the fabric and seeing your points. Okay, oh, our pins are making a rattle noise. Let's bring them over here. Let's open that up. Oh, that's looking great. Okay, let's flip that over. Again, you're gonna be so glad you pressed to the white side because that nests perfectly. And uh, just a note that this point should line up with that center seam. I did it automatically over there, but make a note to yourself that that's lined up. So if you want to throw a pin in there, you can. This last seam just clicks into place. But I'm going to pin down here and up here so that nests really well. But this is where we're going to sew first. Okay. Okay, let's open it up. Looking great. It does tell you to, on this, for your seams to go out. It's a little, gives you a little hint on that. And then your seams are gonna go in on that side. So it gives you instructions on the pattern on that, those two seams. Okay, flip it around. Again, those are going out. Your green four patch is going in. Take a quick look, looking good. Let's give it a little mist. Oh, it's looking great. Let's open that up. Take a little time, not rush things. Works out really well. Okay, let's square this up. Okay, looks like we need to trim slightly. That, like it's hairs. And the splice quilt block is finished. We can't wait to see what Christy Lee does with her own block and her own fabrics. 
But congratulations if you're sewing along with us. This is block number eight. You are halfway there. We have eight more blocks to go. And isn't it fun to create all these unique and fun blocks? So join us next time for our next quilt block, block number nine, Star Blossom by Fran Gulick.